Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this special episode of some of my testimonies of art, 
power, money, the power of God, and some demonic attack. Some of the things of how Satan have controlled my life in my world of business. Please listen carefully because this is a testimony you will probably never forget. The first testimony I'm going to tell you is the testimony of my world renowned sweet dreams forever. The most famous and the most publicized work of art I've ever created. Sweet Dreams Forever and the Collection Series. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very painful to discuss this with you, but I'm moved by the Spirit of God to give you my testimonies. Let's have a word of prayer before I give you my testimony. Dear Father and our God, the God of the Most High, thank you for bringing me here together to let the people know of my experience with good and evil and how Satan have controlled my life, made me money, made me famous, and give me a unique talent that no man could ever achieve in the way that I could have done it. Dear God and our Father, bring bad things to my remembrance so I can do all to glorify you and only you you the great God of the universe the great God of all gods in the lovely name and the most righteous name of Jesus Amen ladies and gentlemen Sweet Dreams Forever is a very beautiful painting and I love Sweet Dreams Forever but there is a story to Sweet Dreams Forever that you don't know. Yes, it is a story. It is not an easy story to discuss with you. But I must reveal my testimony. You know, on August 3rd, 1987, on Monday afternoon about 2.30 in the afternoon at that time I was taking medication for some type of cold medication I do remember when I read the package it said do not take or overdose on this medication because it may cause dizziness, vomiting, nausea, heart problems, and possibly death. Well, there was something bothering me in my life at the time, and what I did accidentally, I didn't know. I don't know if it was a demon who made me took more than one medication and I believe I overdosed on three and when I took the third medication I immediately felt something happening to me and I said what is this happening what is this oh no oh it feels so awful and I start to get dizzy and dizzy 
And then I looked up and the ceiling was on the floor and the floor was on the ceiling and there was a treacherous migraine headache and I said oh no no I tried to cough but it wouldn't come up and I fell to the ground I have no idea exactly how many days I laid on the floor but I believe I laid on the floor for maybe approximately two days and as I went into a coma no one could find me no one have heard of me I lay there helpless laying on the floor and now not the creator but the creature came into my mind and he gave me a dream that I always wanted this dream about a beautiful woman a woman of many colors her name was Anasa forever she was the beginning and the end of all things she to me was like a god I tried not to put her in the place of God or close to God but somehow some way I was putting her in inside or as part of the Godhead I put her above Satan I put her above all things but I tried not to put her above God but I made her into a God and the dream was so intense it was so beautiful it was so real I dream of myself wake up in a place called paradise heaven a heaven that I have created a heaven that I have imagined and then when I woke up I seen this beautiful woman all I could see was her beautiful face she told me she was not flesh and bone but I had some magical powers to make her flesh use my artistry and make her forever and as I sat down at the throne of artistry I started to paint this woman molding a woman out of paint and as I start to mold the beautiful green eyes the beautiful red cherry lips and I'm molding a color that I love but I couldn't understand it because I had some racial indifferences and I don't know what color it was but it appears to be white she, that she appeared to be of someone of the European race and I have created now a beautiful woman a woman that have all the qualities that I could ever want the body, the figure, the hair, the beautiful red dark hair the green beautiful eyes, the cherry lips and the cozy voice and as I journey with, with this woman she says thank you for creating me I just said to her what color are you she says don't worry she says one color is no color but two color is a colorful work of art and that was the answer we journey into a place called Paradise Heaven with beautiful animals, with beautiful trees. I watch her as her naked body walk among the bushes like Adam and Eve as the creation in heaven. 
And as I watch all these spectacular things, remembering myself kissing this beautiful woman and doing all these lovely things that normal people do, I was infatuated. At the end of the journey, I said to myself, okay, I love this place. I, I want to be here. But I need to go back home. Because I was so afraid that if I stay too long, I may never be able to leave. I said, Anassa, I need to go. And she says, no, no. Her voice changed. Her eyes turned red. The wind started to blow. The animals start to run. I became scared. I was frightened. She says, if you want to go, go. Go now. Go back to the entrance where you have came. And dream your way back home. Other than that, you cannot leave. I said, okay, Lassa, I will be back. Please, just let me go home. I love you with all my heart. I love you. Let me go back home. And as I went and I ran through the entrance, the wind started to blow, the animals start to run, the skies turned red. Her eyes became like a serpent. I have never seen her mad. And I laid on the floor and I said, Oh God, please take me back. And I start to dream and I dream and I'm trying to wake up and I'm trying to wake up. I felt like there was 20,000 pounds of metal on my face. I couldn't even lift my eyes. It was so tight, so heavy. I said, Lord, please wake me up. Wake me up. And finally, when I woke up, I said to myself, okay, I understand. What a beautiful dream. I started to mold this masterpiece called Sweet Dreams Forever. I molded something so beautiful that I fell in love with her. Not knowing the danger that it may cost me in the future. As I start to mold this woman, paint her daily, sometimes I can see her eyes moving on the canvas. But I don't know if it was just my imagination. I was so in love with this woman that sometimes I had certain sexual dreams with her. And she says, I am your woman. No one else is your woman. And every morning I got up and I did my exercise and women start to come at me, crowding me, waving at me, and I very rudely would not even respond. Sometimes I may say hello and I just keep going, hey, hey, can I talk to you? No, 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 I'm busy. I wouldn't talk to anyone. For almost two years, I was in love with a painting with someone that didn't exist I refused to have any girlfriends I refused to sleep with any other woman I was in love with a NASA forever my dream girl my dream queen my NASA forever then finally I'm in my dreams I had the wish I was waiting for. Every night I went to sleep, I would talk to this woman. I became infatuated with her. We talked like real people. And I would say, Anassa, come sleep with me tonight. I want to dream with you. Come, let's go sleep tonight. And I would close my eyes and I would have the most beautiful sleep ever. When I wake up, it almost felt like I was with a beautiful woman. I felt so much joy, so much content. 
and you know the feeling became even more intense when I go and I continue to paint the picture and paint the picture and mold it and mold it and mold it to perfection I was obsessed with this woman I locked down my business for almost six months to paint this painting I don't know how I ate I don't know how I made money clients knocking on the door let me in let me in we want to buy your products oh we're closed when you open again I don't know we'll get back to you to one day I let a, report, a news reporter in by the name of Thomas McNichol and I said to him what you think of Alessa <laughs> he said she's beautiful he said yes she is beautiful but you just need to do some things here because publicly you can't paint exactly what you have seen because it's not appropriate for the general public I said thank you and I'll make those changes and now my mind started she started to tell me that if I paint her all my all my riches and glory will happen everything that I dream of will happen wealth money show showmanship success just paint me and I did painted her and I had the biggest show in the history of Pottstown. I got my first major television presentation for only me. I exhibited the largest one-man show in the history of Pottstown. People from all over the country came to see this show. This show became bigger than I even expected. So the dream was right. One painting. I was very scared painting this woman because I was scared that maybe someone may shoot me or do something to me because she was of another race. But the story goes on. After the show and the success and all the glory and the brochures and the newspaper and the front pages, I couldn't be more happier than that. But now, this even got even much intense. A NASA came in my dreams. And one night, I called on her. I said, NASA, come dream with me tonight. And she came. It was approximately sometime around 2.30 in the morning. A voice said to me, open your eyes. And I opened my eyes and I said, who are you? She says, I am Vanessa. I finally come. You've been calling me for many years. I am here now. Don't you want to touch me? Don't you want to make love to me? I said, I said, I, 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 I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. And as she lay next to me with her warm, sensuous body, I started to think. A voice said to me, No, it is not a NASA. It is a demon. Another voice said, Come on, make love to me. It is me. It is an answer. What you've been waiting for. All your 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 favorite things, your pleasure will be fulfilled. Make love to me. Another voice says, No, Marlon, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I became confused. She says, can I touch you? I said, no, don't touch me. Please, don't touch me. She said, well, what you want to do? I said, I, I don't know. Let me think about it. 
Give me some time. Just let me think about it. I don't know what to do because I'm afraid. I said, let me think about it. Hold on. She said, you're wasting time. I said, just hold on. Just let me think. Another voice said to me, no, don't do it. It is a demon. It is the devil. Another voice said to me, come on, Marlon. You're wasting time. You got to hurry up. And I said, oh no. I said, what, 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 what would this be like? Me sleeping with a demon, a devil, a homosexual, a, a ugly creature. I said, no, I can't do it. I closed my eyes with so much fear. I said, no, no, in the name of God, go away, go away, Satan, go away, go away, go away. You're not from God, in the name of God, go away, go away, in the name of Jesus, go away. And I repeated this, I repeated this, I don't know how many times. I must have said this about 100 or 200 times. I was such fear, I was sweating, I was, I was in perplexity, I was in anger, stress, I didn't know what to do. And as I screamed out my lungs, I prayed that this demon would not touch me or grab me or, or do something to me. And when I felt the heat of the body disappearing, I just turned around and I said, oh, she's not there. I got up, turned on my lights. And I said, okay, that's enough. I don't want this anymore. I said, that's enough. That's it. No more sweet dreams forever. I was on my way painting the third painting called Sensuous Dreams. I have already painted sweet dreams forever. Everlasting memories. And now sensuous dreams. The next morning I woke up, I took the painting off the easel, I put a sheet over it, and I called my pastor. At the time, back in those days, my pastor was the, was the name Pastor Byron Hill. I told him, could you come over, I would like to talk to you, I would like to show you something. He came over and I said to him, what do you think of this? I said, I had a dream of this woman. She came in my bedroom. Do you think I'm going to the, to the place of the unknown? Do you think I'm calling demons? He says, Brother Palmer, you are calling demons. Look at what you're painting. Beautiful woman laying on the grass, half naked. Surrounded with sculptures and 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 and, and animals that look like creatures, and all these weird-looking faces with all this sensuality and nakedness. This is medieval art. This is satanic art. This is art that is not for Christians. You are calling spirits. Brother Palmer needs to find something else to paint. This is not of God. And as I said, and as he told me, my head just dropped. I didn't want to accept it because there is money. There is an Oprah Winfrey show coming. There is probably a multi-million dollar movie contract coming for this. There is a one-man show coming in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. 
There is just millions and millions of dollars to be made from a collection series. I will become the most historic, maybe the most famous person, one of the most famous person in the history of the country, if I could just pull this off and put this before the world. But you know, after that dream, actually it wasn't a dream. Because it was an incident. I said to myself, I've had enough. And sometime, a few years later, I wouldn't paint any more pictures. People start to call me and I refuse the contracts. And I pray to God, bless me with some other means that I can make money. Because I can't do this anymore. I want to be a child of God. So God blessed me with another talent. And showed me and got me into the publishing business. And as I started the publishing, I started to publish books, magazines, and posters, and all type of publications. And my wealth surged over one million dollars. And then... I didn't find a need to paint pictures because I didn't have any financial problems. And then I realized that God was blessing me. In 2000, I announced it that I was fully retired from painting all pictures. And I will entertain no clients. People were just coming to me, looking for me. Some people have even passed away. They have given me deposits for money for jobs. I said, sir, I can't do this. You want to wait three years or two? He said, I will wait. I want your work. Some of these people, when I tried to find them later, years later, I couldn't find them because they were dead. They have passed in the way. The numbers don't work anymore. I couldn't find their addresses. So that was the end of that. So the thing is, I love Jesus. I will never paint sweet dreams forever. You know, I am so hurt that the devil have took something beautiful and destroyed it. It was so amazing to create something that, that looks so real and feels so real, but is not real. I need to live in a world now where there is realism. I need to deal with reality. You know, the devil have made me into a creator. And he have teach me how to go beyond the boundaries of God. I can tell you right now, if you know what's important, don't. Go beyond the boundaries of fantasy. Be careful what you dream. Because it just may come true. I love Jesus. I love Jesus as the almighty God. More than anything in this world. Without Jesus, I have nothing. I need Jesus. The Bible says, Thou shalt have no other gods beside me. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to any graven image. I have violated the commandments of God. I will never do it again. God is a jealous God. The Bible also says to him that know it good and doing it not to him. It is sin. And I realize I have sinned against God. But never again. I love Jesus. And I will always love Jesus. Be careful what you draw. And be careful what you imagine. Sometimes you can't draw what you dream. Because it is not what God wants. You cannot fulfill all your dreams. You cannot fulfill all your wishes. When it 
involves nudity, possession and power, and holiness and all this magical, magical mystery. Be careful. Because you're going to a planet of the unknown. You may end up in a planet where you may never be able to come back. I love Jesus as my God. I will worship no other God. I have given up all my paintings just because I love God. I have not painted a picture for 17 years and I ask God for forgiveness to come back one more time to just paint one picture called Trustful Love. And that is the only painting I will do. Anybody hearing me around the world, don't call me for no paintings. I will not paint for you. I love you. I love all my clients. But I cannot paint for you anymore. My art has come to an end. I love Jesus. And I will always love Jesus. I, you know, I know if I can't paint the beautiful woman, the Victorian dresses, the beautiful naked bodies and the romantic, elegant, golden pearls and necklaces and all this beautiful renaissance woman with beautiful animals. If I can't do these things, if I can't paint like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci or, or Francis Brocher or Jacques Davids, if I can't paint like these artists, I can't paint anymore. And if you study the history of these artists and you realize what they were dreaming or what they were into, you'll realize that it is ungodly. I want to be a true Christian for God. I worship the Creator. I don't worship the creature. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to my story. You know, you can still enjoy this, my sweet dreams forever painting. You can buy prayer and hang on your wall, but don't get infatuated with it. You can listen to my stories and my testimonies and my sweet dreams forever soundtrack that's, that's online for the whole world to hear. You can listen to it. It's a great story. It's beautiful. It is nice. Sometimes I love to just listen to it. But be careful when you take your mind. Because what you ask for just may come. The devil and his angels are real people. They are not just demons and fantasy and things you read about in books. Yes, they are real. And I want to tell you, a NASA forever appeared in my bedroom as a real person. I never in my life I would ever want to experience this. This is the most horrifying, terrifying moment in my life. So, thank you for listening. And stay tuned for my next episode. Thank you.
soundtrack and television movie. Warning, federal law provides severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or exhibition of copyrighted soundtrack and story. Title 17, United States Code, Sections 501 and 506. The Federal Bureau of Investigation investigates allegations of criminal copyright infringement. The story of Sweet Dreams Forever. Somewhere beyond time, the clouds of heaven. Behold the dream gods that open the holy gates of the permanent, of the unimaginable. Upon the mysterious morning, the thrones of the statues of the angel gods of paradise behold a dream, a sweet dream so beautiful it has everlasting eternity. The soft flourishing willow trees of the misty morning Bring it forth romantic dreams into sweet dreams. The illusion of mystery searches beyond the great kings of kings for the one and only who can make the dream queen real forever. On Monday, August 3rd, 1987, on a cold windy morning, Approximately 2.30 a.m. From the depths of the night, Marlin had a dream and heard a voice saying, Magic man, magic man, where is the magic and the power ye behold? Journey with me and paint the dream forever. She's been holding and protecting him night by night from the bad dreams of terror. She's been calling him in a soft voice for many years. She opened his eyes. Marlin awoke and said, Who are you? I know nothing of you. My name is Anasa Agatha Festina, the dream of dreamers. Marlin then said, Are you the one I imagined? Please, please, wait. I want to talk to you. I want this dream forever. Where are you? Are you gone? I just want to explain myself. She faded slowly. Marlin got up sweating and shouting in the doom of the morning. So then later, he got up washed his face and went back into his bedroom and tried to sleep to dream about the dream and he called unto the dream girl dream girl dream girl I call you once again I you know you just don't understand I want to be with you forever. I know you had a special message for me. Come back. Come back, please. You are a masterpiece. You are painting a painter's own color. For there's no beauty greater than the beauty that I have dreamed. Come back. Later, the dream came back and said, I'm back, magic man. You don't really want to see me. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, I want to stream forever. Please stay. Give me one more chance. Well done. Look at you. You're a beautiful masterpiece. Can I touch you? No, but I can touch you. 
I really want to see you forever. Well done. You must do one thing first. Meet me in Paradise Heaven in the 17th century and make the dream real forever. But how can I get there? Dream deep and dream beautiful things of me and you shall meet me. Go! Go now for time is very short. Close your eyes. Beyond new dimensions, it was paradise heaven, that beautiful, beautiful garden. Whoa! I don't believe this! This is like magic! This is heaven! It's beautiful! Look at the trees, the grass, the statues! I don't believe this! Where am I? Can a dream really come true? Welcome. Please come around. This is not heaven. This is paradise heaven. The world of dreamers. You may live here forever. The fruits of the trees and the grapes of the fields you may eat. But before you may partake of any of this, you must make me real forever. I hear you! But I can't see you! All I see is a bright light from the sky! I know you can't see me. That's because I'm only a dream. I really want to see you in person. That's why I'm here. You are my masterpiece. Where are you? I have all great powers of Paradise Heaven to make the birds, fruits, and bring fresh water from the high mountains unto the great lakes. But the one power I don't have is to make myself real. Paint me and you shall never dream again. I wish to be human flesh and blood, lovable, touchable like thyself. Who am I? You're magic man, the one and only, and there's no other. I have no power to make people. I mean, I'm just a human being. I'm just a regular man. Thanks. That's a nice thing to say, but how can I? Go into the temple of the Garden of Paradise and paint me. You will see a marble statue of me. Look at that and paint me as beautiful as you have dreamed. For whatsoever ye painted, that shall you behold. Marlin, magic, painted the dream slowly. Suddenly, Anas's voice came to reality. Make me real. Make me beautiful. Make me everlasting. Marlin gave her the breath of life on a fleshable canvas. At last! Forever! My masterpiece! Your eyes are like green diamonds. Your lips are like red grapes and your presence. I can feel it. It's like a warm sunny day. You are a perfect artistic creation. The most cherishable thing I've ever done in my life. Anasa, you are real. You are the woman of my dreams. Tell me, before I'm confused, what color are you? Black, white, yellow. Every color is my color, for I am the color you painted. One color is no color, but two colors are a colorful painting. For your artistry is a colorful work of art, and there's no color to a beautiful dream. Since I've created you, I will now call you Anasa forever. For your beauty is forever endless. Your beauty is beyond creation. I notice when you speak, the animals of the field bow down, and when you move, the sunlight follows you. To have me is like having the stars and the moon. Magic man, you're a fortunate man. 
They walk through the garden for hours, finding the friendship, grace, and love of each other. The magic man then said, Take me around and show me heaven. Show me the magic that you told me beside yourself. For I do enjoy this moment with you. Take me round and let me mold statues of beautiful men. Let me mold these different temples for you so it can be nice for you here. For I always want you to dream with me even if I leave. For I will not stay forever. But I'm only going to be here for a while. I really want you to know. I love you dearly. You are a masterpiece I've created. But I can't live with you forever. I have to go back. I'll make it so beautiful. You won't want to leave. But if you need anything, an answer, you can call me. And I dream in my sleep. And I'll be back. The magic man said, I want to go back to Pottstown to tell everyone about this dream. Well done. Close your eyes and I'll take you back. But when you leave me, I'll be a dream only in your sleep. For if you come back, I'll be waiting forever. Anasa, I promise I will come back. But if you need me, I'm always only one dream away. Anasa, sweet dreams forever. in the 20th century. Marvelous! Marvelous! Where was I? What's this paint all over me? And this robe I have on... Uh, I mean, what happened? That was like magic! That woman I met was really beautiful! Can a dream really come true? So he got up and went and told everyone about the dream and this romantic illusion. I saw the dream girl. She's a woman of many colors. She's beautiful. She has green eyes and red lips and I made her real. Do you believe that? But no one believed him. Well, no one believed in my dream, do they? Marlon went around the neighborhood and cities to inform the public. He went back into his studio and painted the dream so real on canvas that many people said it must be real. On February 22nd, 1989, at 4.15 p.m., Marlon finished the painting Sweet dreams forever. 303 hours and 15 minutes after he started. While he was painting, he could visualize visions and voices of the dream. And 
Vanessa forever. The Dream Queen, reigned as a goddess of paradise. She displayed her talents, works, grace and beauty in paradise heaven. She then became lonely and went over to the throne of crystal balls under some willow trees and said, Magic man, magic man, I'm obsessed with this loneliness. No real men, no real people. All I see is statues and animals. Magic man, I want to meet you, my creator. She now calls on him for his final magic powers. Magic man, I want to live with real people. Take me to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Marlin said, How can I bring you here, Anasa? That's the only magic that I don't have. Uh, well, what should I do? Paint my name, Anasa Forever, once on the museum walls, and I shall appear like magic. The paint on the walls drained down and became a human substance of a woman. A beautiful, beautiful woman. That woman was Anasa forever. The queen, the beauty, the goddess of paradise, the dream of dreamers. The only dream that's forever. The dream that mankind has waited for. That dream was that beautiful, beautiful green eyed princess. A NASA forever. The world has never waited for a special moment like this. Once and for all, Marlin will never dream again, neither shall mankind. It was history in the year. 1987rose a gift of love and peace to all man I really miss you with all my heart Marlin said Alessa forever I'll adore you forever and ever until I die Anasa said thank you magic man for your magic powers and all your sweet dreams will now be sweeter than ever Thank you, Nasa. Look at all these people here to see you. President Reagan. Sugar Ray Leonard. Marilyn Monroe. Natalie Cole. Brooke Seals. Kathleen Turner. Everybody's here. Even Michael Jackson. We all been waiting here. Look at the sky. Look all over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the balloons! Look at them, look at them, they're flying! Whoa! This 
Put your name in the sky, Anassa. We all wanted you to come in here to stay with us. You have brought peace and love to mankind. <sighs> Who are these two lost animals with you? I mean, tell me. I mean, what's going on here? They are my followers and protectors. They follow me wherever I go. They are the king of the beasts. <laughs> Vanessa, well, do, do you really want to go? Let me show you, New York City, why are you here? Why don't you enjoy some moment for this will be forever? I do they do us part. Vanessa, this will be eternal. So tell me, do you really want to go? Yes, yes I do, Magic Man. Magic Man, let's go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art to see if there's any paintings of me. Really? I don't believe this. Okay, then. Let's go. But before I go, Anessa, I want you to remember one thing. You are everything to me. You are my heart, my soul. You are my precious dream girl. Anessa, you are incredible. You are the goddess of paradise. Anessa, without you, the sun wouldn't have shined. The grass wouldn't have grown. The moon wouldn't have brightened the night time. Anessa, you are beauty beyond beauty. Anessa, let's go. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a Palmer Art Production. description of Sweet Dreams Forever, 12-piece collection series, $30,000 for Sweet Dreams Forever, and $360,000 for a series of 12 4 by 5 foot original paintings. Number 1, Sweet Dreams Forever. Number 2, Everlasting Memories. Number 3, Sensuous Dreams. Number four, Ravishing Beauty. Number five, Artistic Memories. Number six, Everlasting Wishes. Number seven, Lonely Dreamer. Number eight, Forever Endless. Number nine, Dreamer's Dream. Number ten, Lustful Obsessions. Number eleven, Magic Powers and number 12 and NASA Forever Sweet Dreams Forever can one day be a major network television movie of the week calendars, posters, limited edition soundtrack cassettes or fantasy novels will be produced from Sweet Dreams Forever very soon
I'm the artist, the artist boxer, the one and only Marlon Magic Man Palmer. Please give me your most adequate attention and I can tell you about the most dramatic painting of all times. Sweet dreams forever. Number one, sweet dreams forever. The magic man enters the 17th century in a nightmare. He meets a beautiful woman and he looks at a goddess statue of her and paint her on a flexible canvas. The woman has no color. And she's the color of many people. They most likely get acquainted very well on his journey. As they run through heaven, she shows him magic powers, as well as he shows her another magic that's unheard of. Anessa wears a dark black green gown with black green hair pearls and diamonds. As the magic creation takes place, the statues wakes up and come to life while he paints the dream forever. When it's over, the magic man goes back to the 19th century. The setting is a bright, misty, cloudy morning. All the animals ran away from the temple from the loud voices and dramatic suspense. Number two, everlasting memories. Anassa forever walks through the garden and searches for some leftover memories that her master left. She sees a goddess statue of her made of marble stone. She touches and admires the memory of her. She wears a pink gown with pink hair pearls and diamonds. The mist of the morning sunlight shines through her gown on her sensuous body. The place, the distinct entrance of paradise heaven from under the entrance. There are animals, wildlife, roaming the garden at the memory creation. Some of the animals are horses, lions, deers, panthers, and pheasants. Number three, sensuous dreams. The beauty queen dreams sensuous, forbidden encounters of a beautiful man. As she lies in the grass in the temple called Dream World, she wears a white gown with white hair pearls and diamonds. The blue nighttime moon shines, dark blue moonlight on her sensuous body and the stars find their resting places. The background is Roman statues of beautiful men with large muscles. There are some larger tall trees and willow trees that hangs right over her as she sleeps. Owls and night birds watch her as she sleeps quietly while a black panther rests his head on her lap and the lion rests his head on her headrest. The main animals are lions, tigers, panthers, eagles, and cats. Number four, 
Ravishing beauty. She gets up early in the morning thinking about the ravishing nightmare. And as she wears purple gown with purple hair pearls and diamonds, the setting is early morning. As the sunshine shines warm beam on her sensuous body, she admires his beauty inside the beam of the sun from above. The place is Dream Girls, another part of Paradise Heaven, where partly new Roman statues of sensuous women and goddess angels. There are some animals and wildlife in the background, such as deers, cows, bulls, lions, and sheep. Number five, artistic memories. Anessa, Moses, an unfinished statue of a perfect man. As she paints an unfinished painting, it happens under some tall, misty, cloudy trees. The temple is called Art Dreams, another part of Paradise Heaven. She wears a burgundy gown and burgundy hair pearls and diamonds. All her brushes and tools are scattered in the grass. The evening is coming to an end. As the pink sky blooms red dark clouds, she's surrounded by many green, red, and yellow trees. There are some parrots, small doves, also surrounding her. The main animals are eagles, mockingbirds, and pheasants. Number 6 Everlasting Wishes The queen wishes to know the magic secrets to create flexible men. But her magic powers are useless to that extent. She reads the forbidden magic secrets. She doesn't understand it. And as she reads carefully, as she sits on a Roman marble chair with engravings of lines on the end of the chair, she wears a dark olive green gown with olive green hair pearls and diamonds. It's a hot, misty, sunny morning. Gracefully exposed is her sensuous body on less than one side of the marble chair. There are hanging willow trees and pale trees in the background. In the center of both chairs is another centerpiece statue, which is a lion with a black crystal planted in his mouth. The surrounding are many different types of crystals and statues. The place is called Magic Dreams, another part of Paradise Heaven. There are some pheasants, lions, raccoons, squirrels, and two pals on the shoulder of the queen as she curiously reads. Number 7 Lonely Dreamer Anessa furiously destroys most of the manic statues in the temple called Dream World. She sadly cries for reality and real people. Wow, she destroys the men's statues. They all open the eyes of gold. She wears a gold transparent gown with gold hair pearls and diamonds. The setting is a dim, fury red sky. A cloudy evening with red trees in the background. All the animals and wildlife are running wild as she refuses to destroy the statues. The animals are zebras, 
horses, snakes, cheetahs, and birds. There are also some large snakes wrapped tightly around the statues. Number 8 Forever Endless The goddess Play with a gold chain that says Magic Man Her master had forgotten She thinks of the great moments Of the creation And the journey that was endless forever She wears a dark Brown gown With brown hair pearls and diamonds She sits on the step of the temple called Dream Beauties. The evening setting is a dark brown, yellow spurs with four-way animals in the fields. She leans on a new statue that's on both sides of the steps, with a large woman babbling towel poses. There are colorful parrots in the surrounding. The main animals are parrots, pheasants, horses, deers, and mooses. Number 9 Dreamer Dream Holy angels blow down from the sky to connect Anasa from the romantic obsession and terror. She sleeps in a golden bed of stone, marble, with golden ravens of angels on the corner of the bed. The place is called Dream World. Another place of paradise heaven. There are all kinds of new statues of men in her surrounding. The mist of the morning brings bright light that beams down with holy angels. She wears a blue gown with blue hair pearls and diamonds. The main animals or owls, night birds in the surrounding. There are also lions, wolves, panthers, and cats. Number 10 Lustful Obsession Anasa takes a daily bath in Paradise Ocean. Briefly nude, she looks in the bright sunlight to view her forbidden lust. She sadly wishes for someone to love and touch. She wears a red hair pearls with white necklace. The animals and statues all open up their eyes of gold across the field. The days are bright. Light blue green sky with birds flying away. The animals are ducks, geese, mooses, cows, and sheep. They're all kind of colorful butterflies flying around her as she bathes. Number 11 Magic Power From the crying voice of a NASA forever, the magic man Marlon Palmer now goes to New York City, Metropolitan Museum of Art in 82nd Street. He converses back and forth with a NASA forever. 
when she tells him to paint her name on the walls of the museum once. The mixed paint of white, brown, yellow drains down from the walls and then become a transformation substance of Anasa forever. Just like today's woman, it looks more glamorous than Marilyn Monroe with a touch of the early century's 50s look. There appears a second exposure of her face in the clouds over tall villains and she's looking down at the magic man while he stands on a short ladder to paint her name with his power of magic to fulfill her fantasy. The morning will be a red cloudy moon with a striking sunrise. There, there are five or ten children and bystanders peeping as he paint her names on the walls. There will be crowds, pigeons, eagles, doves, birds, hat on the step as he paints her name. The last painting takes place once again in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Once the paint drains down and becomes the substance of a woman, and that's the forever meets the magic man Marlon Palmer in the 20th century, while Marlon will be dressed with a light gray pinstripe 50 suit and a red tie with a 50s look. He will give her the power and the brush, the tools of her creation. She will give him a red rose, a gift of love and peace to all men. Thousands of people will surround the beautiful scene while balloons are lit up in the sky. A small plane will fly over the clouds and write her name on NASA forever with a dark smoke. People are shouting, celebrating a moment of magic, suspense and beauty. They will be the exact same buildings in the background of 82nd Street. On the bottom of the steps will be a black antique Rolls Royce with white wall spoke wheels. The evening is a midday afternoon with puff white clouds. A white dove will carry a green leaf in his mouth and will be on the shoulder of the queen. Flocks of birds like doves, eagles, pigeons scatter where they meet. There are two large lions side by side. Another forest animal following her. Many celebrities will be there to view the reunion, such as Ronald Reagan, Sugar Ray Leonard, Brooke Shields, Jane Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe, Kathleen Turner, and Natalie Cole. Yes, they all will be there. The streets will be crowded. People will be running wild to this great event. Planes will be flying. There will be balloons. They will be an extravagant parade. This will be the world's most dramatic moment. The moment of illusion, fantasy, and reality. Yes, this dream can come true. This dream is a dream beyond and beyond. What you ain't heard no, is a dream. Just Beyond time, beauty, and color, illusion is a dream. Illusion is a fantasy, but a dream of illusion is a reality. This will be the most breathtaking, masterless work of art in the world. These 12 series is something that I dream to the own inspiration of my own heart. I want to go beyond human barriers. I want 
to go beyond minds, beyond time, and even beyond a moment that no man has imagined possible. For this whole series could one day be a ABC, CBS, or major network movie worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to remember these few words and never forget it. Dreams are illusions. Dreams are fantasies. But sweet dreams are everlasting dreams. Change with me in a world beyond time, color, and beauty. A place where no man has ever been before. The world of the unnatural. Good night. And thank you for listening. Sweet dreams forever and ever. Attention to prove he is in 